she only survived because she was her mother's least favorite child. This is probably the most shocking, disturbing, and mind-bending comic I've ever seen. It's called The Layers of Fear by Junji Ito, and it's about a mother with two daughters. And the mother completely neglects her older daughter, Narumi, giving all her attention to the youngest daughter, Raimi. But when Raimi's face gets ripped off in a horrific accident, everything changes. Now, before we get into it, I have to warn you that this story is very disturbing. So one day, Raimi, Narumi, and their mother were in their car driving when they crash into a truck causing a stop sign to smash into their car window, ripping off a piece of Raimi's face. And that's when the doctor found out something unusual about this family. When a piece of Raimi's face was cut off, the doctor found another layer of her face hidden underneath. So they did an MRI scan and found that Raimi's face was layered multiple times. Kind of like those nesting dolls where you open up a bigger doll and there's a smaller one inside of it. Turns out this family has been cursed for generations. So instead of a skull and a brain, Raimi had all of her past selves trapped inside her body in layers. Then the older sister, Narumi, opened her mouth, showing her mother that she also had several layers of teeth going all the way to the back of her throat, meaning Narumi also had the curse. But things get so much worse from here, and this is where the story gets a little gross. Raimi eventually goes home to recover, but the mother couldn't forget what the doctor said, that all of Raimi's past selves are still trapped inside her in layers. So the mother creeped into Raimi's bedroom at night, whispering to her, my two-year-old Raimi, I know you're in there. And Raimi replied, Mama, take me out of here. So the mother began cutting Raimi's face off layer by layer, trying to get to the two-year-old version of her. And after peeling off all of the layers of Raimi's face, she finally did it. The mother was reunited with the two-year-old version of Raimi. But that still wasn't enough. So the mother decided to peel off Raimi's body as well, not expecting that Raimi's body changed as she got older. Meaning that even though Raimi's younger selves were still trapped inside her body, they all got stretched out as she grew up. But her mother wasn't done yet. She then thought, I must have the curse too. I'll just peel off my own face and body and return to the age where I can give birth to Raimi again, not knowing that she wasn't affected by the curse at all. Now, Narumi, the oldest sister, still lives a normal life, but her mother had to lock herself in Raimi's room. And Raimi is also still there, growing layer by layer into something inhuman. Follow for more. This story gave me a fear of surgeries. We all know Junji Ito creates the most disturbing comics ever, but this one is on a whole new level. It's called Dissection Girl, and it's about a woman who begins stalking a doctor because of her obsession with surgeries. Warning, I am not joking when I say this comic made me nauseous, and I'm gonna tell you everything that happens, so get ready. This story begins with a medical student, Tatsuro, in the dissection lab of a hospital. All the med students are supposed to dissect bodies that were donated to science, but something strange happens when they open up a body bag and find a woman who seems alive. One of the med students tries to find a pulse, and that's when this woman smiled. Then she opened her eyes, sat up from the body bag, and said, please dissect me. This woman had apparently snuck into the hospital disguised as one of the bodies, but there's something Tatsuro didn't tell the rest of his class. He actually knows who this woman is. When he was younger, he met a girl named Tamiya who wanted to play doctor with him, but Tamiya wanted him to steal a from his dad's office since he's a surgeon. Tamiya and Tatsuro would then sneak into the woods to dissect small animals like frogs. As Tatsuro remembers this moment in his childhood, he goes home and sees Tamiya has broken into his house, asking him to dissect her. Then Tatsuro sees her organs moving in her stomach. So Tatsuro runs away and doesn't see her for another 20 years, but he hasn't escaped her yet. Because 20 years later, as a surgeon in the same hospital he was a student in, Tatsuro is in the dissection lab once again. And this time he opens a body bag to find an older woman inside. But she has scars everywhere, almost as if she's already been dissected. Could this older woman be Tamiya 20 years later? Tatsuro dissected this woman and once he did, this is what he saw. And as these creatures kept moving around, eager to escape Tamiya's body, Tatsuro looked up at her and saw that she was smiling at him. Follow for more. This is why you should never make a doctor's appointment at night. Before we get into the story, a warning. If you've ever had the fear of being trapped, this comic will terrify you. It's called Fixed Face by Junji Ito, and it's about a girl who goes to a doctor to get an x-ray of her jaw. But to take an accurate x-ray scan, she had to have her head clamped between two metal rods with spikes inserted into her ears, and that's when everything goes wrong. So Yagawa goes to the doctor who reveals a brand new device to capture x-ray scans. Yagawa sees the two thick metal rods that her head is supposed 
supposed to go between, but the doctor reassures her saying that they need to do this, so she can't move at all when the scan is being taken. Then the doctor says he needs to leave for a minute, but he'll be right back. And this is when the story gets really disturbing. Yagawa is now alone in the room, completely unaware that as the doctor was leaving, he fell down the stairs and died. After hours of not being able to move at all, Yagawa begins screaming for help, even trying to swing up and down to try to free her head. That's when she realized something terrifying. She can only free herself by forcing her head out from the bottom, ripping the spikes out of her ears. Now the last part of this comic is set in the future, when a man and a woman are chatting at a restaurant. The woman says there was no way Yagawa could have freed herself, so Yagawa had to stay the night trapped inside the device until someone freed her the next morning. Then the man at the restaurant asked to see the woman's ears hidden underneath her hair, and that's when the woman let out a blood-curdling scream. Follow for more!